So the last video I uploaded in 2022 was uh, a five hamster run in custom packs. Here we're in uh, star pack itself and we're gonna go for the same thing again, but it's slightly different. And the main reason for that is your option, you have so many more options in uh, in custom packs. At least you did before, um, before the new year. I think uh, since the golden pack came out and we've, you know, we've suffered through the Nurse Shark, German Shepherd, Highland Cow, Ira, which hopefully should be at an end soon. It's kind of become a lot more difficult to get um, a whole range of fives in custom packs. And Star Pack has kind of been a retreat for me to, to try and get away and get some of these fives that are maybe otherwise a little bit more difficult these days in custom packs itself. So we're going for a hamster this time and I think Hamster is probably one of the easier ones of the tier fives and sixes because it's a gold generator. And maybe it's not generally thought of as a gold generating pet, but it it, uh, it definitely is. And as soon as you have two on the team, your first two rolls are gonna actually make you a profit. So not only are you getting rolls for free, but you're actually increasing your gold tally. So sometimes that can mean that you can um, buy a whole load of extra items per turn. And that means that the hamster can actually scale itself or you know, multiple hamster team can actually scale itself relatively quickly using just food. So I'm actually gonna sell the shoe bill here to give myself space for the crow buy sell. Um, that is obviously one of the big drawbacks in, in Star Pack is the fact that you have to, it's, you know, it can be very frustrating trying to level stuff up. You're either wasting a lot of gold rolling or you're trying to fit crow in somehow. And here on the level up, we actually get the other gold generator in this pack, which is the hammerhead shark. And if you hang around to the end, there'll be a rather amusing clip where I'm trying to go for five hammerheads. And uh, yeah, I won't I won't spoil what happens, but um, here I decide on this roll where I get double hamster and uh, the shoe bill to combine one of the base stats hamsters and um, take shoe bill for a turn. Although the cassowary is still scaling itself, it's, it's still quite slow for this late in the game. And here we actually get matched with something I, someone I see quite often in the star pack, which is not Penny's boat. So, um, shout outs to them. Obviously, a fan of Lost like myself. And we're going to sell the uh, uh, shoe bill there. Not, not the best play. Definitely a mistake here. I'm not sure why I didn't buy one of the hamsters first, because the the other hamster actually had some stats on it, even if it was only like seven, eight, or seven, nine. Um, it was a waste there to transfer those stats onto the cassowary and then sell it. I should have just bought one of the base stats hamsters first. We do get husky here, although we do have one strawberry unit still worth taking the husky, at least for one turn. And then level up the other hamster. You always have to make sure that you have at least one gold with hamster so that you can still activate the ability because it won't work on zero gold. Um, I'm fairly sure that's still the case. And we find another couple of hamsters. So... You can see compared to a lot of other pets, it's so much quicker to actually level the hamster in this pack, even without finding chocolate, just based on the number of rolls that you're getting. And this time, uh, yeah, I think we're actually gonna lose. Yeah, the eel generated so much extra health there, we end up losing, so we're down to two hearts. I'm gonna get rid of Husky um, because I wanna start buying peppers. Komodo is the better option which is a kind of a funny sentence to say if you're um, a long-time fan of SAP. Everyone <laughs> makes fun of Komodo as being this uh, awful tier 6, but we're going to take it in this situation. Um, well, we, we will eventually, I promise you. And I, I always have this problem with uh, hamsters that I'm always checking to see how many uh, triggers it has left. And we're going to try and level the Komodo as fast as possible and freeze up as much um, attack food uh, as well because getting attack is definitely more important. Unfortunately, here we get matched with an, a colossal um, strawberry team. You know, they kept their jellyfish and cassowary and they have double shoe bill, which is just absolutely filthy. But we're going to start picking up uh, momentum here. Um, I'm going to replace the strawberry with the pepper and it should be relatively um, quick and painless to get pepper on everything 
because we're generating so much extra gold per turn. Do need the Komodo level up though, and the only way, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna actually buy both hamsters here to make sure that the rest of the shop is open and I can actually find the next Komodo for the level up because we've, we've still got six wins to get. So we really need um, that scaling ASAP and there it is. And we might as well freeze it. Again, we're gonna get so much gold back that we can afford to go for the level three. A lot of the time I just um, don't bother. Uh, here's someone else I get matched with quite often in Star Pack, with Satirical Bow. I've mentioned them before. They've got their own YouTube channel, and I think they're going for 100% um, achievements uh, with each video being the, the next uh, level three. So I'll put a link to them in the description if you're interested in that. And we've now got the full board of peppers, and I think actually, yeah, I should have probably just bought the pepper on the Komodo there because a lot of the time these late game rounds can turn out to be, you know, um, draws or one HP wins because your back unit has pepper. We do find the last hamster, so that's um, comforting to have that locked in, even though we've still got five wins to get. Vulture team can be scary when you're relying on pepper, but um, the rest of their stats are just nowhere near good enough. And um, we insta kill the reindeer through the melon. So I think, yeah, it is definitely worth getting a little bit of health in there. Um, especially when you just face the vulture team and you're worried about Pepper getting replaced, get the Pepper onto the Komodo. Um, one of the, the other disadvantages of Komodo is that uh, if you're using Husky or, or Shoebill late on, you can often put it to the front in order to break uh, Coconut or Pepper. However, with Komodo, you're basically locked in to put it at the back. You can't put it further forward, otherwise you're going to lose buffs. Here we're fortunate to go against a team that only has um, one strawberry for their veloc level 2 Velociraptor. I guess they leveled it up and then were trying to roll for strawberry and just didn't get it. So we were a bit fortunate there, I think. Komodo to level 2.66. Now we just need one more. But you can see the real difference, like the speed at which the hamsters are scaling themselves with the, the food. We've already got a 50 attack unit. Um, and obviously with the Komodo, we can't control the positioning, but here it actually puts the weak, one of the weaker ones to the front, which is nice because then the hawk breaks its uh, pepper with uh, the snipe. And this is actually scary, the triple pepper at the back with spine, level 2 Spino. And we're going to lose our pepper on the um, hamster, but actually it is that situation where the, the backline unit survives on 1 HP just because of the pepper. So very lucky to survive there. We get the level 3 Komodo, even though it's probably only going to be for one turn unless we draw. And we're taking, we're still taking tacos, even though one of the hamsters is on 50 attack. Um, because the Komodo is level 3, they are actually getting a decent amount of a top up on, um, on health. And one of them's at 50 health anyway. Now we just need some good matchup RNG. And at turn 17, you are getting into the range where you're a bit more likely to face weaker opposition that have probably drawn a bunch of games. Um, I don't. That's not a universal law, unfortunately, but this team, a little bit more atypical, and they do get some good spawns out of the Orca, but level 2 reindeer at their back is not actually going to be able to stand up to all the peppers. And now we've got to sell the level 3 Komodo, which is a little bit uh, sad because I don't think I have a level 3 Komodo on, the, on my team very often. I'm pretty sure I already have the achievement, but uh, I'll have to check that. And now we buy the base stats hamster. And really the only worthwhile equipment for it, I think, is probably uh, popcorn. Although there aren't actually any tier 5 summon units in Star Pack, so you can't like get the popcorn sort of chain reaction. Now a little bit of shuffling. I think I'm going to actually end up just going for all three 50 attack units at the front. It's a little bit risky if the opposing team has woodpecker, but um, I f you know you have to take some some kind of risk. You know if you put them all at the back, you can end up going against the vulture team and losing all the peppers early anyway. And we actually get matched with a perfect opponent, another level two raptor with only one strawberry. But actually, it made no difference because their other uh, large unit would have still traded one for one with my uh, fifty attack with pepper hamster. So there we go, five hamsters done in Star Pack. 
and the channel actually passed a million views today so here's a little bonus clip maybe not a one in a million but it's uh it's kind of atypical and we're gonna take the freeze the crow here i'm setting up for five hammerhead sharks and unfortunately i'm a little bit too quick on the end turn button and the leech kills the <laughs> level three frog which not only means that I can no longer swap the stats onto the hammerhead shark, but I also lose the gold from its ability in the next shot phase. And we do win this battle, but actually it didn't really make any difference and uh, the run was over. So even though we're a million views in, still a lot to learn.